Before I start, you may want to just read this excerpt from 1915 about luminous watch dials. You may need to pause to read it fully. In this video, we have a old watch, antique watch, likely made before 1950. Prior to 1950, luminous paint containing radium bromide was very popular and fashionable, and many watches were made by the watch dial painting girls. This paint is highly radioactive, as you can see here, and I have a plastic cover on this Geiger counter, and still enough radiation gets through that you can hear it in the background. Now I'm going to take the plastic cover off and see just how much gets through. Quite a bit. Now this watch has a glass face, and in this case it's possible to remove the glass face which would attenuate quite a bit of the beta radiation. Now let's see what gets through. So a lot more of the radiation gets through. Now this uh, watch face is no longer luminous because the zinc sulfide, the doped zinc sulfide that's used to generate the luminosity has been burned out by constant bombardment with radiation and no longer works as a luminous agent. But the radium is still present and with very, and with very high radioactivity. Now one of the reasons I was interested in making this video is that many people wore these watches and I know some people personally that were concerned that they were getting a significant amount of radiation to the wrist. So what I wanted to do in this video is see just how much radiation gets through the back of the watch. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the glass, turn the watch upside down, and now we're going to examine the back to see just how much gets through. Most of it is attenuated. So very little actually gets through. And what we may be picking up here is Bremstrahlung radiation from beta particles in the, in the uh, paint hitting the back of the watch and decelerating, as well as alpha particles doing the same thing. So basically, if it's worn on the wrist, it's basically safe in terms of any significant radiation dose to your wrist. And here's the front of the watch. Hope you found this interesting. Please check back for more videos and don't forget to subscribe.